Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to another video going over the brand new Pokemon movie which does come out this July of 2018. I'm very excited about it. We obviously got the Cora Cora information not too long ago about Lugia being confirmed in the movie. We've obviously already had the first trailer. They didn't really show too much, just kind of Ash's new art style. Obviously the Pokemon floating, you know, above the sea, which obviously is now Lugia. And then obviously we had that mysterious girl as well and that's all we saw. But now guys, today a new trailer has dropped and it is just kind of showing a little bit more information. You know, they're definitely teasing us. They're giving us some more characters. They're giving us names, the locations, everything like that. And a bit of a story. They've given us the title, everything like that. But uh, this is a very, very awesome movie. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing it. So obviously, with the new trailer, we're going to be going over it today. We're going to be taking a look at it, breaking it down, discussing it, seeing if we can find anything that you may have missed if you have already seen it. But uh, I'm excited about it. So if you guys are excited for this video, please do show some love to our thumbs up down below. Because we're really about the video channel, all that good stuff. Without further ado, though, guys, let's get into the video. And I really hope you guys enjoy. So we start off with the big old Pokemon logo. Happy Pokemon Day to everyone out there as well, because it is Pokemon Day today. Awesome stuff. But uh, yeah, so we got the big Pokemon logo. And then we got some uh, some Japanese there. I'm not, I'm not sure what it says. I mean, hopefully the translators should come out soon. But anyway, we then see it like open up in a huge city. Now, this place kind of looks to me... A you know how the, the Volcanion movie, it kind of looks like that uh, place. I'm not sure why, it just I get that feel from it. Probably it's just the art style or something. But uh, next up we have like, uh, it's just some uh, traffic, I guess. We've got a little ape on there, Meryl. Trying to look out, scope out some any new Pokemon. Don't see any though, we've got Machoke there. Yeah, no new Pokemon in this. You know, you gotta you gotta be careful. You never know, they could just be hiding like a cheeky Generation 8 Pokemon behind the tree. You don't know these days, guys. So let's just, uh, anyway, carry on. So we've got some traffic going on. That's, that's the whole point of this scene. Then we have some, uh, like, I, I don't even know, some... Don't know what these are. They're kind of looking nice and powerful, though. I'm liking it. Get another pan shot of... This is, I believe, is the main place that the, the whole movie is going to take place. Um, because I will go over, like, the synopsis of the movie, everything like that, once we've gone through the trailer. Because it has been released, everything that we need to know about. How, what the movie is actually about and everything. But anyway, pans into the sky. It's probably from, like, Lugia's point of view here. And then we kind of see a bit of Lugia's wing there as well, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's Lugia's wing. I mean, it looks like... kind of looks like... I mean, I'm not going to be that guy, but it's obviously the sun just, like, making the shadow it. But Shadow Lugia, maybe? I don't know. It's obviously not. It's just the light coming in. Obviously, the light is coming from here. So, it's just a shadow. But that'd be cool if we had, like, Lugia versus Shadow Lugia. That'd be really cool. And then we have this girl uh, that we did see in the first trailer. She is confirmed to be known as Lisa now. She has an Eevee as well, which is awesome. I'm all about that. Thank you for introducing that. I'm a big fan about this. And uh, some people have said that because Eevee is, you know, one of the main characters in this movie, maybe it's kind of foreshadowing a new Eeveelution in Generation 8. Obviously, that's not been confirmed or anything like that because Generation 8 hasn't even, like I say, been confirmed yet. Obviously, we know it's coming, but nothing's been said about it. But it would be cool if that actually did happen. I can't see that happening there. I can't see, like, some people that believe that Eevee's going to evolve into the 8th generation Pokemon in this movie. I'm not too sure about that. I don't think they would do that. I, 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 think, I think she's just got an Eevee just because Eevee's, like, one of the biggest... Pokemon characters out there, you know, everyone loves Eevee, well, most people do, you know, it's like Pikachu, everyone loves Pikachu, everyone loves Eevee, I think that's why they've introduced it into the movie, but yeah, I, I can't see a Generation 8 Eevee it would be awesome, but, you know, I don't think that's going to happen, it seems to be a very mischievous Eevee, though, like, running around, like, making a following and stuff like that, which is really cool, I'm all about that, she, she looks like, she, in the first trailer, she looked like she's very determined and everything like that, but now she just looks really clumsy, like, following Eevee and stuff, but, hey, I, I kind of like that personality, I kind of like the fact that she's just, uh, it just gives her more of a character, you know, it just gives her more of a personality than just someone that's like, yeah, like, determined people and stuff, that's awesome, but I do like the fact that she's got this clumsy side as well. I also love that Eevee's, like, a big part of her as well. I feel like this is, like, this Eevee to her is, like, Pikachu to Ash kind of thing, so that's, like, her partner, her star poker, everything like that, and then she just kind of, like, sighs as Eevee's just laughing, so good stuff there. So next up, we have another character. I think this is another main character. We will obviously go over this, like I say, when I go through the synopsis. He's got a pseudo Wudo. I don't know what he's doing, but he looks to, just like to be maybe a comedy act, something like that, maybe. I, I don't really know. And then next up, we have this dude over here. Looks to be like a scientist kind of guy. Uh, he, I think he's the shy scientist. Has a Chansey as well. Again, we'll go over his name and everything like that once we do go over the synopsis for this, uh, for the for the movie. And then behind her, him, we have uh, this old woman who uh, apparently hates Pokemon. She's being followed by Totodile, uh, Togepi, Smoochum and Meryl. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. It's kind of nice that we got all these Johto Pokemon there. It's pretty cool. I'm all about that. A uh, nice, like, bunch of Johto Pokemon there. All good stuff. And, I mean, because it's like the second movie, doesn't it? So, obviously, it's going to, I think it's going to star a lot of Johto Pokemon. So, maybe the Eevee evolves into, like, Espeon and Umbreon. That'd be awesome. I could definitely see here, like, the Eevee evolving into an Espeon 100%. And then we have this little girl as well who's got a lot of mystery around her and she has, like, she has, like, the exact same facial expression as Ash here. So, it's probably just the art style, but that's just something that I've, like, 
to, like looked upon. Then we have Lisa obviously looking up in the sky. That's obviously um, Lugia flying across. Lugia flying across with this guy. Everyone's looking up. Everyone's seeing Lugia. Lugia's flying off. We actually see Ash as well, like looking at. He's just like I don't know what he's doing here. It looks to be like a around like cafe or a school or something like that. I don't know, but he's looking nice and cool. I really like Ash's design in this movie. And then again, Lugia is just flying over into the into this like place over here. And then we obviously see everyone here at uh, Pikachu running up. And then that is pretty much where the trailer ends. Everyone like turns around, and looks at Ash. Ash is, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's like showing all kinds of ankle. And then, uh, yeah, so that is the trailer, pretty much. So coming out on the 13th of July, as we all know. Again, didn't show loads of stuff from this trailer, but it did show a lot of like, um, you know, all the new characters, everything like that, and obviously the title. We're going to go over a quick synopsis now, though, because there's a lot of information. So anyway, but yeah, anyway, so the synopsis of this movie is that once a year, a wind festival is held in Fura City, the city where people live together with the wind. While the ancient belief that the legendary Pokemon Lugia will appear and bring about the blessed wind on the final day of the festival still exists, the people that gather in the city participate in the festival while wrapped in their own thoughts. So I'm just going to quickly go over the characters anyway because it's easier. So we got uh, Lisa here. Obviously, this is the person we saw in the first trailer. And again, we've seen here. We have uh, who's up next? We've got Kagachi, which I do believe is this guy that's telling all the tales. This looks to be Kagachi. So we got him. He's doing his whole, whole tale thing. He does look like he's telling tales here as well. So that kind of makes sense. Then we have Trito, who is a timid reader searching the lacks confidence which i do believe is this dude uh that is the old uh, the old uh, timid researcher and next up we got uh, tr uh we got a uh, high sweet he sweet i'm not sure how you pronounce that the old eccentric that hates pokemon uh, who seems to be this woman who, like she say, she just, she, she does not look like she's lacking Pokemon. Obviously, Toadow's having a great time. She does not look like she's lacking Pokemon, though. And then next up, we have Largo, who is a mysterious little girl that hangs around the forest all by herself. So this is her here. I definitely think she's going to have something to do with Lugia just because she's a mysterious girl that hangs by on the forest all by herself. So... Yeah, I mean, she's going to have something to do with Luya, I, I think. And then it basically says, these are the people that Ash and Pikachu meet. That meeting makes everyone's, like, story begin or start or whatever. So, yeah, that is pretty much everything for this trailer. All the information, everything that you guys need to know. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm really excited. I I'm hoping we get some more information soon. But, yeah, looking really good so far. So, if you did enjoy this video, please do remember to leave a like down below. I really appreciate it. And my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, Patreon. All of that can be found in the description down below if you want to check any of that out. That is everything for me, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time, guys, peace.